Hey there, film fans. I'm Jeff. I'm Dave, and welcome to the love of cinema for the one time of year we put our money where our mouth is. This is our Oscar picks. Oscar picks. Yes. We're going to so lay it excited. down. This is where we think is going to win. Um, are we are we using the buzzer? Are we going to use the buzzer for this? I think we use the buzzer for this. Dave, that was the dumbest fucking question I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yes, we're using the buzzer. If you hear that sound, it means we're drinking because we've said something stupid or bad about one of these films. That's right. We are, still a, we are still a drinking game, people. We drink. We, we buzz each other when we say something negative or stupid about films because we try to keep it positive, even though we fail sometimes. That is our goal. What were you about to say there, Dave? Oh, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll get back to it. All right. So I know that these Oscar episodes can be a little fatiguing, so we're going to keep it tight, people. We're going to keep it tight today. Dave Point. and I have seen we've seen the vast majority of these films certainly in the big categories so we're going to keep it pretty simple we're going to do snubs if we remember them but we're not going to waste our time doing that kind of stuff I remember the nothing. Are... <laughs> and then we're just going to say who should win and who will win in our opinions and then i am going to say who the vegas front runners are for betting everything's about gambling and betting now and Dude, I, if... I have to admit after after the way they've behaved this this oscar season i am so checked out on the oscars a little bit. <laughs> Well, I know. So that's why I, th this is the best way to keep it fun. This is what like baseball needs betting because everybody's like the baseball games are too long. They're too boring. The season's too long. If it wasn't for betting, then you wouldn't have like diehard obsessives anymore. True. I, I used to I used to host an Oscars drinking game um, every year exactly. where we, we would because in Australia you get it on like you get it early. So everyone would be at work. So we do a total like Internet blackout that day. I'd DVR the thing and then we'd all turn up at my house with a, a, like a fuck ton of alcohol and you would like <laughs> they would pause everyone and they'd say who they thought win and if it if it didn't win you took a drink that's amazing it was the simplest game ever yeah Australia. yeah uh if anyone uh, knows our guest host ryan he was a, a frequent member of these uh, <laughs> these games <laughs> I know him well um and thank you to everybody in australia for listening i don't know what the algorithm did in queensland but the the queensland algorithm was very favorable to us it recently. was <laughs> so hello new south wales victoria yeah. south australia <laughs> all right so i just have one one article of business and then um should win, will win, and then I'm going to tell you who the front runners are. And if you think that's like crazy, oh no, it's not. It's like it, shut up. It's a TV show. It's it's for fun. And um, I think the David versus Goliath, like, is the power of the dog the favorite going to win, or is Vegas thinking something else? I think that's a pretty exciting narrative to to put some juice in your uh, punch hmm. for Oscar Sunday. So anything else before I just do? Because I, I want to ask I, you about the dude, new change. I was looking on Bitter today, um, and I tell you what, they are like out there for this this film sucks and this film should win it's like yeah we're not gonna do that stop it with that shit yeah when that's not what we do here uh and you guys can all mm. go get fucked there you go i'm gonna drink yeah. for you okay so just really quick an update on on nominating and then that's um after oscar so white 2014 there were about six thousand voting members in 2014 and it turned out that the, the median age was 64 and it was 94 percent white in 2014 wow. so and two-thirds male so since then they've increased membership up to 9500 voters so more than 50 percent increase mm. primarily so 89 percent white that's right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm not positive you because that's totally fair play um so younger more diverse more inclusive membership right now so the oscars are dying to maintain some sort of relevancy they keep bragging about how zendaya is a member every article i see is like zendaya is a member but they have increased membership people can still only vote in their category so if you're an actor you get to vote in four categories if you're a director you vote for director dude there put, is crossover it, put, put zendaya in charge of the thing she seems to have her head screwed on exactly exactly yeah. her she, yes the hosts good luck you would to the get hosts, an awards but... ceremony like no other I feel it should like. be it <laughs> should be hosted euphoria. by Zendaya. I think she should host it <laughs> <laughs> and not mention Euphoria because um, those kids scare me. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm <laughs> okay. So anyway, you can only vote in your category. You pick the winner, except for Best Picture, in which they do rank choice voting for a second, third. Okay, Dave, mm. they're not televising eight categories this year. Are you for or against? It's a fucking travesty. Um, that is ridiculous, especially like. I mean, a lot of the I'm used to a lot of the, the awards that I'm interested in getting relegated. Like visual effects, the big one is only like that makes it through. But there's a whole heap of other technical stuff that I'm very interested in, would like to see, but it's very hard to find. They don't. It's not part of the telecast. I get why it's not, but to cut out editing, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, sure. Just shoot your whole thing in camera. You you'll be fine. Yeah, it's it's the weirdest thing. Um, 
like the Emmys just the Emmys were just like look we have so many categories that it's like just actors and directors and stuff and then they have a different show that they I guess they stream um I am in favor of this I'm gonna be honest with you I, I can't say how many times it's been midnight and I'm like why isn't the show over some producer was like is an anonymous producer told Variety um there has to be a way of of televising all of the awards, but keep making it go quicker. And it's like, guys, it's been they're, 80 yeah, fucking they, Oscars. Yeah, they've they, tried they everything. Tried they've, so tried, it's, they've, it's, they've tried playing them off. They ignore that. Just... Editing editing is a tough one for me because editing is the biggest um, decider of best picture. You know, like hmm. everything comes out. of Your yeah. comedy is funny because of editing, right? They're all different takes. I, I would say the so only thing uh, they could do is have Ed 209 from Robocop come down and usher them like out of from the aisle, but they've already tried that too. But then again, like what that how, happened? What, Yes, but what a yeah, they, they try to have some gimmicks of what how to get you off stage, but what how douchey is it that you give somebody this lifetime achievement, you tell them that they're important, and then you tell them to get the fuck off the stage. Like that is the one time that you shouldn't speed them up. You should give them their moment. So anyway, mm. it has to happen. So to people that don't like staying up till midnight, it's not gonna be up to midnight, but it's a little bit of a bummer. I do think in the long term we're gonna think it's the right idea, but it's this is all going on streaming yeah, in ten I'm years just, anyway. I'm just I'm just a bit like I'm pissed about editing. Like I can imagine that when do. someone was like, we could not just show editing and they're like, all right, but we're telling everyone it's your idea. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. That's the only business I had. Um, can we, let's just dive in. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. All right, people. So these are our Oscar picks snubs. If we remember them, who should win, who will win totally subjective to our point of view after seeing I have the these word movies. probably in front of mine, probably. And then. <laughs> And then I'm going to say who Vegas thinks the odds on favorite is. And there you go. Mm, which is changing were, regularly these days. The, this, the past two weekends with the Guild Awards have really yeah. thrown a, a wrench in a couple of the, the betters luck here. So we're going right into the acting categories, Dave. You ready to dive in? Let's do it. Ba, 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 ba. Actor in a... <laughs> I'm only doing that because there was no piano this time. I'm sorry. You can't, oh, bring I, a I piano. Went... you can't bring a piano and then just not use it ever again. Oh, that happened. <laughs> I forgot that was still on. Okay, great. Okay. Right, I feel Doss, bad. Dossine didn't write us any music for today. Fucking, we didn't set up our... <laughs> Dossine's our musician who plays for our regular episodes. Okay, Dave, we're starting with actor in a leading role. Can you think of any snubs off the top of your head? I'll start. Nicholas Cage for Pig. <laughs> Nick, Nicholas Cage and Pig... And Tony yeah. Leung and Shang-Chi, it's obviously a yeah. reach for him to be nominated, but I really think that was the best Marvel performance I, of all time. I feel like hell will freeze over before they nominate anyone in a Marvel movie for acting. But Holy shit, this in was this such case, an easy yeah. end to say we are paying attention. Tony Leung and Shang-Chi, Nicolas Cage and Pig. Um, any that you remember? No, I think, the, I think you nailed the two big ones. All right, here are the nominees. Javier Bardem being the Ricardos. Benedict Cumberbatch, The Power of the Dog. Andrew Garfield, Tick, Tick, Boom, Will Smith, King Richard, Denzel Washington, The Tragedy of Macbeth. Dave, should win, will win. Um, I think Benedict Cumberbatch is going to take it. Is that, that's the will win. Sure. Who do you think should win if, it, if it's not? No, Benedict? no, that's who I think should win. Um, oh, I see. That's my, yeah. I think probably Will Smith will take it. Okay, so yeah. So should win Benedict Cumberbatch, will yep. win Will Smith. Yeah, I, I have should win Andrew Garfield, even though that's ridiculous. I well, it's not ridiculous. <laughs> He's it's had not a great ridiculous, year, though. It's not ridiculous. He was, he really was great in the movie. I wrote should win Andrew Garfield, and then will win Will Smith, and and Vegas says Will Smith too. <laughs> he won so BAFTA. He won SAG. Keep in um, mind the should wins are the are the picks we are going for. They're they're the ones that we're laying down. Yeah, glad we but we're also that. realists here. Also, just a reminder that actors vote on this. So Benedict Cumberbatch has won a lot of awards that critics mm -hmm. handed out. Atlanta, mm. Chicago, New York, like a lot of the city's critics handed out to Benedict Cumberbatch, but the actors, the SAG went to Will Smith and BAFTAs went to Will Smith. So it looks like it's going to be him. All right. Supporting. Actor in a supporting role. My snubs, I wrote Bradley Cooper for Licorice Pizza, Jeffrey mm. Wright for, um, the, totally the just, they did. No, not no, sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was good at the Batman. Uh, no, they just, the, the Wes Anderson, the French Dispatch. The, West, mm -hmm. this, the French Dispatch nominated for zero awards. Really interesting. Uh, and then I wrote David Alvarez, Mike Feist for West Side Story. Oh, um, Feist, totally. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah. He should be in there. All right. But Could not take your eyes off the guy. The whole I'm movie, you stole it. So... 
Let's do it. Kyron Hines, Belfast. Troy Kotzer, Coda. Jesse Plevins, The Power of the Dog. J.K. Simmons being the Ricardos. Cody Smith-McPhee, The Power of the Dog. I like our order. Why don't you, do you want to... Do you mind going first every time? No, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, I I think Troy Kotzer has got it. Nice, nice, nice. And my probably is Troy Kotzer again. Yeah, I think should win, will win is him. Although I, I yeah. wrote, just for the sake of our podcast, I agree. We love, we listened to our Coda episode. We loved this performance and this movie, really, right? Yeah, it's uh, like I said, like I said in the episode, it's the first time I've seen like sign gags, like sign jokes, I say, land. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm with um, you. Like laugh out loud land. This guy was an amazing performer. Yeah, with the with the narratives, Cody Smith McPhee was the early like favorite a couple months mm. ago for the Power of the Dog, and he really was amazing in this movie. He really was. He was kind of the glue. Like I, I thought, Benedict was great. Jesse Plemons was great. Kirsten Dunst was great. They're all nominated, but Cody Smith McPhee, especially in the the second half of the film, like. But it looks like let's see what the what Vegas says. Vegas. Is going with, I haven't seen any of these, by the way. Uh, Troy Got Troy Kotzer and then Cody Smith McPhee is the second highest. Oh, okay. Spot. So there you go. He's doing he's doing better than I thought. All right. So those are actor and supporting actor. Mm-hmm. Shall we carry on to carry act- on. actress in a leading role? I wrote snubs just for, the, the the youngins, the young bloods, Alana Heim and Amelia Jones. Alana Heim for Licorice Pizza, Amelia Jones for Coda. I don't know if they actually should have been nominated, but shout out to their no, amazing work. Yeah, here. no, they should have. I agree with that. Um, I think that's that's all the ones that really stood out to me. But there were great performances this year, obviously, as always. Um, the nominees: Jessica Chastain, The Eyes of Tammy Faye; Olivia Coleman, The Lost Daughter; Penelope Cruz, Parallel Mothers. That's a Pablo movie that John, I'm sure, would. I don't know if he saw it, but he would have loved that. Nicholas, sorry, Nicole Kidman. Jesus fuck! Let me pause <laughs> myself for that. <laughs> Whoa. Nicole Kidman for being the Ricardos and Kristen Stewart for Spencer. What do you think? Um, me personally, I think Nicole Kidman might sneak this one away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Golden Globe. In, in honest, in all honestly, it, like it could go three, four different ways. This one, this is very hard to call. Yeah, every single. I think every, so almost everyone sing- nominated there is a phenomenal performance. So, like, I want, I like, I think based on what I've seen, Nicole Kidman's got it, but. We'll see. So, uh, and the video that I submit, right, my initial reaction video, which nobody watched, but that's okay. Um, first of all, Olivia Coleman is just that? like shame on you guys. Go to a YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Olivia <laughs> Coleman is like the goat. So everything she does is brilliant, and I, I'll ride for her. So I, I put her as my shit win. But mm-hmm. I said in that initial video, I was like, I think Jessica Chastain's got this. I watched it on HBO Max, and Fair. it's a, it's a weird that's, movie. This that's, is that's this what is I'm not, saying. It could go three ways. This is not usually the movie that it's not usually the type of movie it's a biopic but it's not i I don't know it's hard it's hard to describe but i'm surprised but but she won the sag and she was amazing in this movie and she hasn't won before whereas nicole kidman penelope cruz and olivia coleman have all won so the only two that haven't kristen stewart jessica chastain and she i don't know i I think i think jessica chastain could get it so that could be good what's vegas say Jessica Chastain, Jessica Chastain, and then Ooh. Nicole Kidman is uh, right behind her with Olivia Coleman behind her. So right. it looks like Chastain Kidman. That could be Supporting a nice little battle. Supporting actress. Supporting actress. Oh, you know, you know who my biggest snub is. Yeah, just read is. one name out. That's all. Like, that we're, we're just covering the one person here. Jody Jody Comer should win this award, and she wasn't nominated for a goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah, that was a massive time. snub. Yeah, guys, if you haven't seen the massive last duel, snub. we understand. We understand why you haven't seen The Last Duel, but go watch it for Jodie Comer's performance in this movie. It was the best performance of the entire year. Mm. So good. I think two of my favorite performances are her and Tony Leung. I'm sorry, that's just the yeah, truth. Yeah, I mean, watching her performance makes you just a little bit cooler. And then Ruth Negga for passing. Uh, and Katrina Balfe, I thought was great in Belfast. But um, mm. So anyway, they're not going to win. One of these five is going to win. Jesse Buckley, The Lost Daughter. Ariana DeBose, West Side Story, Judy Dench, Belfast, Kristen, Kirsten Stewart. Fucking man, I'm just like, the beer is like just starting to hit me. Mm. Kirsten Dunst, The Power of the Dog, and Anjanu Ellis and King Richard. What do you think? Ariana all the way. Uh, my personal suggestion, Ariana DeBose has got it. Uh, my probably is get fucked if it's not. Okay. <laughs> No buzz for you. That's fair. I, I, 
I basically did the same thing, but really, this is this is a great category. I thought everybody in here was really amazing. Everyone too. was phenomenal, but like she's she's a standout for me, an absolute standout. Yeah, I'll shout out. I like Jesse Buckley's performance. I like Jesse I, I kind of also I kind of just want to see it bookend. The with the, the Rita Moreno the, and then yeah, I I, I want to see it bookend. That that'd make it like very nice for me. And you know what I saw? You know what I saw on Twitter today is that Rachel Ziegler who played Maria. Yeah. Is not invited to the Oscars. What the it's, actual fuck? It's nominated for Best Picture. I just thought the the, the she's lead only cast, the lead. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, I thought the lead but, cast I mean, gets how, invited. How does that work? Like, do, do you just like do they just pick a list, or do they leave her off the table when they booked it? I, I Spielberg I snubbing no her. What did she just, say yeah. to him? That's see. I'm sure that Spielberg has tickets. I'm sure that he gets choice. Right. Yeah. Well, hopefully it works that she put it on Twitter and then we'll see her on Sunday. She even said, like, I'm Jack, still holding out hope. Jack Nicholson, if you're out there, this is your chance to save the day. Just, um, just uh, give your ticket to her, sit at front row center so she can just eyeball everyone and go, you didn't fucking invite me. <laughs> so out of, so he doesn't out of, go anymore. <laughs> out of all of the, um, I'm looking here at the acting categories on Vegas. Out of all of the acting categories, this is by far the 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 most heavily favorited and that yeah. is Ariana DeBose. She's, she's giving 2000, which is if you bet her, you're not even going to win any money. So it's not even worth betting her. That's how much she's that they're expecting. But Ariana you will DeBose get pride and bragging rights. That's right. We're going to keep it rolling, Dave. We're going into the writing categories. Now. Writing adapted. So the WGA just came out and a little bit of a surprise on Saturday. So let's see if Vegas goes with us here, but I did my list before Saturday. Mm. What did WGA writing, come out with? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. No, okay. Adapted. Well, you're right. Adapted screenplay. My snubs, Tony Kushner for West Side Story. I thought he did a great adaptation. But. All right. Coda. Screenplay by Sean Hedder. Drive My Car. Dune. The Lost Daughter. The Power of the Dog. It should be said, Lost Daughter, Maggie Gyllenhaal, The Power of the Dog, Jane Campion. Those two stand out. Hmm. Dave, what do you think? Uh, I'm Power of the Dog. I think, I think, it's, gonna, I think it's possibly got it. Should win and or They're, will win? Um, both, yeah. It's it's. I mean, it's running a strong campaign too. It's definitely running a strong campaign. Now, here's where here's why I like doing these kinds of things. If Jane Campion is a lock for best director, this is the Oscar. This is the Academy's way of spreading the wealth. Now, Birdman, for instance, uh, Inurito won adapted screenplay and he won best picture because he was a producer and he won best director so he walked away with three obviously parasite i think coda is going to get it and coda won the wga award okay and and that is the that'd biggest... be great to see i like that's the funny thing i'm like i'm choosing stuff based on what i you know what i think or mm-hmm. i would love coda to get it i just don't think it like yeah i'm not sure how strong a campaign like apple's running with it so i, I would love for that to happen it... but i don't think it's realistic to think it's going to happen I think they're going hard, Apple, because it's their only That's entry. fair. That's um, fair. And, and so the power is, I don't know, maybe the power of... All right, I'm, I'm sure changing, mine, I'm changing it, my Dakota. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see what... My, let's see what... My, my want is Coda, probably power of the dog. So it's, it looks like it's going to be one of those two. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do Vegas after I do the original screenplay. Let's do them together. So okay. original screenplay. Ch- deleting that and changing it to Coda. <laughs> you know what's hilarious? So I wrote this, I, told, I, I wrote this before the WGA Awards. And my snub is... How the fuck is Don't Look Up in here? <laughs> and guess what, Dave? Oh, you don't want to buzz me? I'll buzz myself. Dave, guess what? what? Don't Look Up won the WGA award in this category. I, I, it's, I have no idea how. I'm not saying it's a bad movie, but this is not anywhere near the big short. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It, it has to be Belfast and Licorice Pizza splitting votes. Anyway, Belfast, Kenny Branagh, Don't Look Up, Pass. King Richard, um, Licorice Pizza, Paul Thomas Anderson, and then The Worst Person in the World, um, which is uh, a front runner for the foreign language film. So those are the five. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I would actually like Licorice Pizza to get it because mm-hmm. um, I, I really enjoyed the writing in that. Um, but I think Worst Person in the World is probably going to get it. Wow. Shit. Um, I wrote Licorice Pizza should win. Belfast will win. And I thought it was a two-horse race. So maybe they split votes and then Don't Look Up was all the young people that just care about global warming and didn't mind that the, the, the story was a little convoluted and didn't know if it was funny or not or whatever. Like, I, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it poked fun at a lot of the, uh, the things that it needed to, to push the right buttons for votes. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm certainly not going to say it was a bad movie. I'm just very surprised. No, anyway. Yeah. Okay. 
Sorry. Jesus. Okay, so let's go to Vegas here. That was that was obviously Zoom interference. This was updated today. So for original Ooh. screenplay, Licorice Pizza and Belfast are basically tied. Licorice Pizza is plus 100, Belfast is plus 130, and then Don't Look Up is plus 500. So even after the WGA, Vegas is not going for Don't Look Up. So Licorice Pizza, Belfast, I think this is one of the most interesting categories. Kenny Branagh mm. and Paul Thomas Anderson, a legend. Duking it out could get their first Oscar or Adam McKay could win another one. Um, adapted screenplay. Coda has surpassed power of the dog, but not much, not much. It's giving 165. power of the dog is getting 140. So pretty, pretty tight in both of the screenplay categories. Mm. All right. Are we at, at animated, animated feature. feature? So I didn't write any snubs for this. Uh, nominees in Kanto, Flea, Luca, the Mitchells versus the machines, Raya and the last dragon, I haven't seen all of these. Have you seen these all, Dave? I've seen a lot of them, yes. Nice. I saw Luca and Encanto. Which ones have yeah. you seen? Um, Encanto, Mitchells, Luca, uh, and Raya. Oh, shit. What do you think? Yeah. Mitchells, all the way. Mitchells was your movie. Phil Lord, Miller, yeah? Mitchells was amazing. They pioneered an animation technique. Like It well, is they... like nothing else you'll ever see. I mean, that's what they did for Spider-Verse when they won yeah. in this category. Yeah, um, I think Mitchell's has the legs. Um, probably, though, it'll be Encanto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote Lucas should win just because I haven't seen the other ones and I thought it was like a sweet little movie, but Encanto will win. And I mean, Encanto, Encanto has stolen the narrative. Encanto is like the most talked about movie out of all of these fucking movies right now. And these fucking kids that I teach are still singing We Don't Talk About Bruno and the movie came out four months ago. So. Yeah, yeah. Encanto I cannot is, get that is, out of my head. But, and, yeah. Conto, and Conto's a favorite, but Mitchell's and the Machine versus the Machines is, is in second here for our odds. Mm. I, I think Mitchell's is going to sneak in. That would be fun. That's yeah. why Vegas is good. David versus Goliath. We're in March Madness, people. We are in March. Okay, Dave, this is your account. Cinematography. There were so many good movies this year. Right. And they all looked great. A lot of them looked great. Um, I wrote Green Knight as a snub because I thought that was shot well. Would, um, are there it any was that- shot well. Are there any yes. that are jumping out that you remember? Mm, oh, picked Dave. up on that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your um, passive aggressive subtext there. Yeah, what? Um, any other movies that you remember? Because there were, I mean, there were a lot. So. There were a lot. Um, no, I think the the like the nominated ones are definitely the highlights. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Dune, Greg Fraser, Nightmare Alley, Dan Laustsen, The Power of the Dog, Ari Wagner, The Tragedy of Macbeth, Bruno Del Bonel. West Side Story, Janis Kaminsky. What do you think? Um, West Side Story. West Side Story was shot so goddamn well. Right? We, we talked about this in our episode, but you and John talked about um, the planning, the storyboard, the way they choreographed. Janis Kaminsky was there when they were choreographing it. so that it wasn't, it wasn't until later when I saw the clip that I realized that the dance number was one giant wanna as well. They came in, went up and over. Like that, that, that involves people on, on foot cranes, people on the other end, grabbing the camera. Oh my God. I didn't know that. That is, that's really fun. I wrote should win. Well, so for me, it was three movies. It was Dune, Power of the Dog, West Side Story. And that's what my probably is. (laughs) I can't tell. Like it could literally like all three of them are amazing cinematography. Like, I don't think it's going to be Macbeth or Nightmare Alley, but the other no. three, like it really could be any of them. I, I think, uh, yeah. I, I think really good. I'm going to go with Dune. Okay. I'm going to go with Dune as the should win and Power of the Dog as the will win. No disrespect, Giannis, but he's got two and I'm, I is like it, spread the going, web a little bit. Are you going with Dune because you know, it was dark enough to not be able to tell the people apart in the battle yeah, scenes? Yeah, I love the dark. I love the darkness, <laughs> Mark. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke from one of our episodes. Um, do I'm looking? Uh, Dune is the favorite. Dune is is minus eight hundred. That's a lot. That's a heavy favorite. Yeah. And then Power of the Dog. Power of the Dog is second at plus four hundred. Like that is third. Get the fuck out of here. So I guess it's yeah, between no, Dune and Power of the Dog. Cinematographers are not betting on that. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> you're right. All right. So there you go. So the next costume design is next. Nominees: Cruella, Cyrano, Dune. Nightmare Alley, West Side Story. Any thoughts? I considered Cruella for a minute um, just because of yeah. what it is. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with Nightmare Alley on this one. Mm. Um, it might be just so they're not, they don't get a total snub. Um, and 
probably though West Side Story. Because they yeah, love, I wrote West like, Side they should love, win. They love the period pieces. I wrote West Side Story should win, and I wrote Cyrano will win. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I've seen some of that. They had some of those costumes in uh, Lincoln Center, uh, out in the theater in the front window. Window. They were detailed. West Side so, or Cyrano? Cyrano. Wait, that's pretty ballsy for Cyrano to put their costumes where West Side Story is set. Yeah. And here they are. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Cruella's the favorite. Dave. Oh. Giving 650. That's a big, that's a heavy favorite. And then Dune is in second at plus 400. Dune. Yeah. All those, all those grays and tans. Yes. They nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> which which color sack do you want to wear today? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun all right well that's what vegas vegas says cruella and then dune and then west side after that and cyrano has no chance so great i'm glad that i thought that you, yeah, all right you well could, have, it could be a surprise upset we have those I, it, any of these could be it, surprised it, especially this year it depends how many people like peter dinklage calls and goes hey you remember when i was like drunk and knew things yeah <laughs> i think if, for if, me. If, if all of the guild winners I didn't look up these guilds, but if all of the guild winners win this year, I think next year they should start doing rank choice voting to try to mix it up a little bit. Not mm. that like if you it's it's I, okay to win both, but like if, if I, I, I tell you what I though, if Cyrano doesn't win, I want to see Dinklage just going around the after party just slapping people like he did in uh, so if Joffrey. Dinklage is at if he's at these Oscars and and they are nominated for best costumes that I don't think they're nominated for anything else. And Rachel Ziegler, the lead of West Side Story is not there. And that is nominated for best picture. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, she's got to be there. This has got so much attention. Anyway, we, yeah, we, uh, we keep hopping on that. Okay. Directing is Directing. next, Dave. Yeah. So I didn't write any snubs. This is fine. Yeah. This is a good list. Yeah. Belfast, Kenneth Branagh, drive my car. Um, Ryusuke Hamaguchi. I hope I get that right. I'm sorry, guys. Licorice Pizza, Paul Thomas Anderson, The Power of the Dog, Jane Campion, West Side Story, Steven Spielberg. Dave, what do you think? West Side Story. So it should win West Side it's, Story. Yeah, that's what I want. What I think is going to win. What will probably win is Power of the Dog because it's having a run. When you say I think is going to win, I think what you're saying is like, if I had my say, that's what would win. Yeah, what I want to win is West Side Story. That's my pick. Yeah, I did that too. I yeah. said West Side I know Spielberg has two, and I know he's directed a million movies. He doesn't need any more. And Jane Campion technically won for writing the piano, not directing it. But I think that's right. I'll double check that. Roast me on Twitter if I'm wrong. Um, but another reason to give Coda the... If I were voting, and I, and I can't vote for both these categories, but some people can. Paul Thomas Anderson <laughs> can vote no, in both well, of these I mean, categories. Voting's, voting's closed now. But... You're right. Correct. Um, I wrote should win Steven Spielberg, will win Jane Campion. And Jane Campion is the biggest... I've only seen a couple. Um, the director one was like in the middle of the actors one, so I already peaked. And that is the biggest favorite of the entire night was Jane Campion winning Best Director. Mm. She's giving five thousand, which I, I honestly that the number is so big I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah, but Steven Spielberg is plus. It means you owe them money. Yeah, it's basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get sense. It's like when you bet you get the triple crown horse, and then like you just keep your ticket because it's like more valuable than. I don't cash know what either. any of that means. Okay, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> um. Sound, Dave. This is also your account. So I, I don't um, do film sound. I stay away from that. It's very hard to please directors. Um, <laughs> you're right. You also have to work with the team of four, apparently, because this is always the category that has the most nominees. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually four sound mixes. It's just like four of them left during production because they get sick of dealing with this shit. <laughs> so you only get one D. You have one DP, even though your your DP is dependent on like forty people to well, make the, it work. The DP but when it comes has to a sound, crew. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Sound Belfast, I, I, yeah, go. Belfast, Dune, No Time to Die, The Power of the Dog, West Side Story. Dune. And any others should win, will win, or is Dune, Dune? I think Dune. Uh, no, Dune, and um, what I think will probably happen is No Time to Die. So I had that flipped. Oh, I had that flipped. I had no time to die should win and then Dune will win. Now the sound in Dune was really cool. Especially yeah. I, I saw it in Dolby Cinema. You yeah. saw it in IMAX. I saw right? it in IMAX. Oh my god. Sound the sound in Dune was really cool. Yeah. So really either of those two is is great by me. Yeah. And Vegas says 
Dune giving 1,000. And right. then West Side Story plus 500. That's surprising. I wonder what their I wonder what their campaign was. I mean, West Side Story I guess was mi- of the music. Like West Side Story, we're talking about sound mix. Oh, they've combined it into one. So West Side yeah, Story exactly. um, was mixed better than most musicals I've seen, with the possible exception yeah. of Scott Pilgrim, uh, which was the best your mu- favorite, yeah, yeah okay. best music I've ever heard mixed <laughs> ever in the history of cinema. Um, yeah, but also with the new technology and stuff. If I, I don't know how many of these voters saw West Side in theaters, apparently not a lot because mm. it didn't make any money. Um, but it was really cool hearing like the whistles come from different directions and stuff. I know all of these movies are doing it, but there was real craftsmanship. But, but doing it in a musical, I thought that was great. Yeah, I mean, okay. I'm sorry. Spielberg's the kind of person who'll use every element at his, at his disposal. So, yeah, um, no Marvel in Best Sound. No, yeah. I mean, they choose what they're going to run for, too, sometimes. If I'm Marvel, I'm going for all of the technical awards. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, you got Spider-Man sitting there. Come on. <laughs> Spider-Man is nominated in this category, Dave, which is also your account. This is visual effects. Mm-hmm. Visual effects. I don't know if any... Did you like the the effects in The Green Knight? I thought there were probably some cool ones. There were but... some cool ones. A lot of that was... Um, like, The Green Knight himself was practical, mostly. Uh, that's still I, a visual I, effect, though, yeah. right? I mean, that's a special effect. Visual effects, I, it's it's kind of dicey. I think they lump it yeah, all exactly. in one. Um, yeah. But if you get a like a special effects credit, it means it's more practical than a, like yeah. a visual effect credit. It, it's it's hard. Right. They haven't really standardized that shit yet. Um, Dune, I, like the, I think, is probably going to do this though. I feel we like there's a lot yet? of. Did I miss that? No, it's okay. I there, I feel like there's a lot of your babies in here, though. We have Dune, yeah. Free Guy, No Time to Die, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and then Spider-Man No Way Home. So there's a lot of your uh, standout mm. films of the year. In it here. is, and you'd think I'd go with Spider-Man, but no, I think Dune's going to get this. I'm, I'm just happy for Free Guy to be in here. I'm glad Me that they're too. at the party. I, I, yeah. <laughs> the That's... effects were awesome, having that city like kind of fall apart. They're fucking as, amazing. As Taika Waititi was like crashing all the... He gets to crash all the computers, and then on the big screen, he gets to go show up to the premiere and watch. Every time he smashes a, a, a fucking whatever a monitor or something like a building falls like that's he's like about he probably had a really fun time watching himself yeah. in that film um i think yeah i think i want i i want dune to win it because i've seen what went into some of those compositing effects yeah um like sand screens instead of blue screens like yeah i never would have thought and it's brilliant but um spider-man i think might actually take this oh yeah probably I, is, my uh, Spider- is spider-man i I put should win free guy. And again, I don't know why I did that. I don't remember doing this. So I think it was just to make you happy. Um, <laughs> I, I wrote, I wrote Dune will win. Yeah. And best visual effects odds Dune giving 3000. So that is the second highest favorite I've seen so far. And then Spider-Man's in second. So Dave, you're right on the money again. Cool. All right. Documentary feature. I, I have, I've only seen one of these. Yeah. Um, so the, the nominees are Ascension, Attica, Flea, Summer of Soul, Writing with Fire. Have you heard anything about um, this? Or? I've heard Summer, uh, like Summer of Soul. I think yeah. that that would be my pick because it's the one that I've seen. So um, it's but this one for me is anybody's game. I know nothing about the other films. I I I balked on the documentaries this year. I was I've had enough reality yeah. for the last couple of years. Yeah. Summer of Soul was also the, the one that I've seen. It's on Hulu, and it was in my top five movies of the year. I, it was, I thought it was amazing. Um, might be updated now that I've seen Coda, but Questlove, kudos. How they got all that footage, how nobody, how nobody, how I didn't know about this as well. Oh, yeah. But also, the Attica documentary, I just listened to a podcast about that guy who was on Larry Wilmore's, and I was like, holy shit. And then Flea, everybody's talking about it. All these are amazing. They're nominated for, you know, but I think Summer of Soul is going to get it. And it looks like... Vegas is saying Summer Assault giving 300 and then Flea plus 230. So that's still pretty close. That's close. Good for them. And then Attica in third at plus 1,000. Hmm. So there you go. Summer Assault, Flea, and then maybe Attica. And then documentary short, should I just go right to Vegas? Doc, well, Doc Short, I have a confession. But like they, they released all the Doc Shorts on a special channel that you could actually see, and I saw none of them. So like I've, I've let myself down in that respect. Yep, I've let myself right down. Sorry, everyone. I'll watch the shorts next year because I, no now I know where to find them. But there is a little bit of a battle because in the past it was like pre-decided, like you could look up online, like who's going to win this. Um, but Queen of Basketball and Three Songs for Benazir 
giving 155 and then plus 150 respectively and then audible is in third mm. so there you go people if you want to fill out your brackets and impress your friends write down queen of basketball or three songs for ben Azir. um Film editing, Dave, your your category. This is the one that, that was tough pill to swallow with the Yeah, editing. Uh, it doesn't matter what we decide. You won't see it in the broadcast. Thanks. Again, fuckers. I don't know how Don Look I don't know how Don Look is up is in here. I know a great craftsmanship went into making this movie, but Well, it's probably because of the three hours of Jonah Hill they cut out of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so don't look up, Dune, King Richard, The Power of the Dog, Tick Tick Boom. I think it's a two person race. What do you think? Um for editing, it um, has King Richard in here too. So it's like when you have Dune and the Power of the Dog. Like n- no disrespect to them, but you know this is how the Oscars is, right? They got the, hmm. they get their achievement, they get to go to the party, but it's it, it's just the anyway. Yeah, I'm. I mean, they. That's the thing. You run it like in certain cases. If you run a campaign and you have enough parties and you give away enough goodie bags, people will vote for anything. But Holy shit! I'm not yeah, saying sorry. that their editing sucks, um, but. No, 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 no. Um, I am going with Dune for this. I, I, I said um, should win Dune, Power of the Dog will win for me. I oh, sorry, did, you, did you go did you go I, Dune for both? No, Dune, Power of the Dog. We we match. So I, you I, think they're gonna, I want, you think I they're want Dune to win. Them. I think Power of the Dog's gonna win. That's what I said too. And Dune is the favorite at giving one ten. And King Richard is plus two hundred. Did they win some awards that I didn't know about? I don't know. And then Power of the Dogs in third at plus 300. So this is actually a three-team race. Okay. Bring How it. How about it? All right, let's keep it rolling. International feature film. I think, I think it's a lock. No, nope, uh, it's a two-way race. It's a two-way race. Drive My Car, Flea, which is documentary. Um, the Hand of God. Uh, Lunana, A Yak in the Classroom. And The Worst Person in the World. What do you think? Uh, I'm leaning towards, towards Worst Person. Um, but Drive My Cars could be a... <laughs> Could be him. I think well, pers- worst person is going to get it. So worst person got the screenplay nod, but Drive My Car got director and best picture. So you would yeah. think that Drive My Car is going to win because of that. But I mean, don't count out worst person in the world. Mm. And it looks like Drive My Car is a heavy favorite. Heavy, heavy, heavy favorite. Okay, that's okay. Giving five, giving five thousand. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Whoa, makeup and hairstyling. Mm. Coming to America. I saw this movie what felt like four years ago. I can't believe that this was nominated this year. I think this actually came out during the Oscar Blitz last year because it was delayed. So this case, I'm going to guess this came out in March of last year. Like, I feel like I watched this before yeah, the Oscars. It was, it, was, it was definitely past the cutoff, though. So, yeah. So Coming to America, Cruella, Dune, The Eyes of Tammy Faye, House of Gucci. This award's interesting because sometimes literally just one character will win you an Oscar. Like yeah. Iron Lady, for instance, won Best Hair and Makeup. And they only had one character, whereas Dune, for instance, has a lot of characters that had hair and makeup. What do you think? I think Gucci's going to get this. Um, and any other? Um, well, I th- my pick would be Gucci. Um, but what I think is probably going to happen is Cruella. I, I, I had similar where I said I thought Gucci hit, and I was debating between Cruella and Tammy Faye. I think Tammy Faye is the one because they age her over the course of the film. Okay. So she gets slightly chunkier. She gets slightly, you know, a little bit more in the face. She gets pregnant and they, they fill out her face a little bit and stuff. So. Okay, cool. Let's, yeah, I haven't seen that so, yet. So it's on HOMX. It's a little long. Uh, hair and makeup, Tammy Faye giving 300 and then Cruella's right behind and Dune is right behind at plus 500. So not right behind, but Tammy Faye's mm. the favorite, Cruella and Dune, not far behind. Okay. We're rolling, no, people. Where I, we I, at? Think, We're at like I think Lido's been on the phone to people going like, vote for me or I'll come around your house. <laughs> So. All right, we're winding down, people. Thanks for hanging with us this long. We, I know this, these things can be taxing, so uh, we're almost there. So we have the two music categories next. So original mm. score, we'll do them together, and then I'll do Vegas. Original score, Don't Look Up, Nicholas Bertel, Dune, Hans Zimmer, Encanto, Jermaine Franco, Parallel Mothers, Il- Alberto Iglesias, and The Power of the Dog, Johnny Greenwood. What do you think? Encanto. So this is hilarious. I um. I, th- I was thinking about Encanto too in this one, but Lynn stole the thunder with this. That's my only thing is that Lynn's songs obviously don't count. So I feel like they're I mean, they, not- they count in the in the music. They don't count yeah. for original song. His his songs still count in the music. So 
I wrote should win Johnny Greenwood. I thought this is actually, and I love the There Will Be Blood score. I love the Phantom Thread score a lot, but I actually liked this one the best because it was haunting and he like kind of stayed a little invisible in it compared to the other two. Um, well, compared to Phantom Thread, which is very, mm. um, it was almost like a Sunset Boulevard-esque like lush score. But I put will win Hans Zimmer. I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to give it to Hans for Dune. Cool. Um, they they kind of snubbed him with, with, he has one for Lion King, but yeah. they sort of snubbed him for um, for Interstellar. I thought Interstellar was cool, but maybe they just didn't want any more organs, so they're like, "Fuck it." Um, and he put <laughs> he put bagpipes. In, he put bagpipes in space. Let me do song, and then we'll come back to both of these in Vegas. Okay, original song: "Be Alive" from King Richard, "Dos Origuitas" from Encanto. That's Lin Manuel Miranda. "Down to Joy," Van Morrison. That's from Belfast. No Time to Die from No Time to Die. That's mm-hmm. Billie Eilish and Phineas O'Connell. And Somehow You Do from Four Good Days. And that is Diane Warren, Warren who has a million of these nominations. <laughs> I should also say Be Alive from King Richard was co-written by Beyonce and Dixon. Um, I, they, one thing I do love is that uh, Bruno apparently is getting performed at the Oscars despite not being nominated. I mean, they can do whatever and they yet, want. Rachel but- Ziegler is sitting at home. Well, you heard the story, right? For fucking score, you have to nominate it by like December 1st or something. And Bruno took off at the end of December. It was like, yeah. oh, Christmas break. Um, I think Dos uh, Arreguichos. Should win? Should win. And what about will win? No time to die. This is exactly what I said. I said Dos Arreguichos should win, no time to die, will win. Which, by the way, and I praise the fuck out of this song. Because if it's the use in the film... No, t- no time to die. All the Bond movies always do well. Mm-hmm. You had Adele and Sam Smith won basically back to back for those two films, for um, Skyfall and then Spectre. But this No Time to Die, the way that that cold open ends in Bond, kind of sad, and then this movie is haunting. I thought that yeah. I thought that was it was great use. I thought it was great mm-hmm. use. All right, let's see what Vegas thinks about these two. Um, score: Dune giving six fifty. Power of the Dog plus 400. And Kanto's in third. Best song, No Time to Die, giving 350. And then Dos Origatus is plus 240. So pretty pretty close. Still favorites, but close. Cool. We're running short on time, so let's skip Best Picture. We get three. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Best Picture. We have like two more categories after this, and we'll do them quick. Uh, Best Picture. There's so many fucking nominees. Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, Dune. King Richard, Licorice Pizza, Nightmare Alley, Power of the Dog, West Side Story. Dave, thoughts? I'm 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 at odds here because I it's like Coda West Side Story. I'm like, yeah, both of them are beautiful films for extremely different reasons. Yeah, um, and you could not get two more like different films. Um, I don't know. I think I think a lot of people are gonna sheep it and go with power of the dog but yeah. i would like to see i mean i can't decide on this one uh west side story it's gonna be, I, I i would like west side story to win i mean because i went, boat. yeah i went in like i went in like everyone else it was like they're remaking this i don't know how it's gonna go um and i just sat back and got taken away by something totally fucking magical so yeah west side story for me, me. i think power yeah, of the, the dog the- will win in the Coda and West Side Story were definitely my two favorite movies of the year, but but I really did like Power of the Dog. And a lot of it is that Cody Smith McPhee storyline and the score and the directing. So yeah. I think it it's definitely the favorite. Um I don't even know where it is. It's oh, it's near the top now. We we went so far down to the bottom. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it is definitely the favorite. But Coda just won the PGA award. So it actually, you know what? Oh shit, these are a lot closer than I thought. Power of the Dog giving 145, Coda plus 120. That PGA award was huge. But here's yeah, the thing. And the SAG award. Up. And the SAG award. So what that means is that the actors are voting for it too. But everybody gets to vote for Power of the Dog. Or everybody gets to vote for Best Picture. Yeah. And they do ranked choice voting. So we'll see. That yeah. could that could really change things. But it looks like it's a two. It's a two dog race. Yeah, everybody no who's got a that. Samsung phone is like, fuck Apple. Power of the dog. It's like, <laughs> fuck Apple. I know, fuck Apple, but, but it Apple doesn't didn't deserve make it. The movie. It really doesn't Apple deserve it. They, yeah, Apple they, just, didn't make they the bought movie. it and showed us this beautiful masterpiece. So, yeah. Yeah, Netflix could have bought it at Sundance if they wanted to pay $25 million. Okay. Uh, what, 
Uh, three more, and two of them are the are the shorts. Yeah, so we'll, we'll dude, go quick. The, I mean the sh- the shorts and the short anims like I, animations. I have seen neither, so neither. So we're gonna skip I the shorts programs. Yeah. We're we're so sorry to the filmmakers because we know that it's very competitive. There are so like I, many I said, shorts. I was I was checked year. out this year a little bit with as far as the Oscars went. So yeah, I didn't hunt them yeah. down like I normally do. Same. I usually go and watch them at the IFC Center. But sorry, everyone, I'll be and, better next year. So we're going to skip the shorts programs. You can look up the Vegas odds, obviously, but we're going to finish it up with production design. There is a snub in production design for me. This is our mm-hmm. last category, just to be clear, which is, and I, I I don't know if you've seen this yet, the French Dispatch. So ah. the exact same team that did Budapest Hotel, including Alejandro Desplat, who was not nominated. So he was kind of snubbed in the score category. The production design was insane in this movie. And I looked at the budget afterwards and the fact that it was $25 million doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know how anybody got paid <laughs> and did this movie. Seriously. If, yeah. I, like if you thought grand Budapest hotel was Wes Anderson's Epic, you have not seen the French dispatch. Every single story has 40 set pieces in it. They all move. It, it is wild. Dave, you're going to like it. It's like, it's just, it's, I, I can't believe that that's not nominated because that was an incredible set, but here we are production design. These are the nominees. Dune, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, The Tragedy of Macbeth, West Side Story. Final thoughts. Um, I want Dune to win this, uh, mainly because I know how much work went into the design of the craft, and, and I really dug the design of the locations, the crafts, the cost, like the characters themselves. Um, all of that was phenomenal for me. Probably Nightmare Alley is going to take it away. Shit. I was thinking about Nightmare Alley a lot, especially in this category specifically. Because yeah, but, they're like they're like if you look at the like the design of every piece of scenery, there's almost a, not a single thing without a practical light in it somewhere. Right. Uh, mainly because like what it should be lit by is practical light, but everything was so stylized, everything was so perfect. Like the designs all had meaning. It it was it was a production design like gala right there in a film. In Nightmare Alley, yeah. But I, I, put I would like Dune to come in. I was debating between Nightmare Alley and West Side because I didn't love Nightmare Alley too much, but the, the design was amazing. So, yeah. And then I, I said Dune will win too. And I'm up on my Vegas odds, final Vegas odds of the day. Dune giving 400 is, is number one, but then Nightmare Alley is right behind at plus 250. So relatively close. It looks like Dune is still the favorite, but relatively close. Mm. All right. If you're a betting man well, or a woman. Um, we other. usually <laughs> we usually give our recommendations here, but we're gonna we're gonna skip that for time. Thank you so much for joining us, people. We're doing the outfit right now. We've done a lot of great episodes recently. We try to keep it positive, and we drink. If you are new to our podcast and you've made it this far, I don't know who you are, but yeah, we love watch you. watch some other things as well, for God's sake, because this is not what we normally do. <laughs> we're normally yes, much right. drunker. This is a, yes, uh, yes, and um, <laughs> we're we're gonna we're recording our the outfit. Also, oh, if, right if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, you'll notice that Jeff looks like he's sitting at the fucking kids' table right now. His yeah, chair why is, is it so, like, that? like you're so far down in your in your chair. Like I don't know. Hey, <laughs> tilt, guys, tilt your monitor down. Yeah. Oh my god! But anyway, we're about to be drunk Next. for our uh, the outfit podcast, and John is going to be stone cold sober when he joins us. But oh well. Well, actually, right. technically, when they hear this, we've already done that. Touche. All right. Thank you so much, Bill. Jeff fans. doesn't understand time. <laughs> Anything before we go? Nope, I would think we're good. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks for joining us. See you guys.